Good afternoon, this is Sharon Oracle reading and this reading is for the sign of Virgo. On the left we have the plant soul Vetiva. In the middle we have the divine feminine card Queen Terra. And on the right we have the shaman dream oracle card called Magician's Sword. The plant Vetiva is a tropical plant from Asia and it is a grass or a sweet grass. The message is that life might have a strong grip on you right now, Virgo, and your imagination seems to have gotten out of balance. And it is time to find back to reality. Connect to your mind and your gut and see how this helps you to align your inner and outer worlds. The plant spirit vetifer helps you to regain a stable fundament and this fundament helps you to connect to Mother Earth, giving you new roots that let you grow upward where there is room enough for growth. Say this affirmation, I am part of the earth and I let myself be part of life by using each breath to realize this connection to Mother Earth. Again, I am part of the earth and I let myself be part of life by using each breath to realize this connection to Mother Earth. Last time, I am part of of the earth and I let myself be part of life by using each breath to realize this connection to Mother Earth. The plant soul vetifer is a mystical powerful plant helping you to be grounded and build a stable fundament so you can grow out of some of your old conceptions. The oil of vetiver is a good oil to use for massages. It's very relaxing to use it in times of stress when your thoughts might be a bit chaotic and you need to return to balance. Use one drop of the oil on your tailbone and the area around the heart and you can also inhale the fragrance directly from your hand. Do this five minutes or until you feel you have settled down. The vetiver oil has a strong physical and mental grounding ability and the plant's chakras are root chakra and third eye chakra. The Divine Feminine card in the middle is called Green Terra and Green Terra is also called the Buddha of Enlightened Action. Green Terra embodies the state of overcoming fear and allowing us to take bold actions on what we know is right. Tara is a female Buddha in the Vajrayana Buddhist tradition and she is known as the mother of liberation because her name is derived from the root to cross. Tara assists all beings in crossing the ocean of suffering so one can reach liberation. According to the Tara Tantra eons ago, Tara incarnated as a king's daughter. She showed such spiritual excellence and such profound compassion that she impressed a group of monks. They told her that they would pray for her 
to be reborn in men, so that she would reach enlightenment. She responded with enlightening them by stating that there is no such thing as male and female. The ideas, projections and expectations that we superimpose onto the male and female form, said Queen Tara, is unreal. Tara wrote then and there before all the monks that she would remain a female Buddha for all lifetimes until all beings were liberated from the illusion that a person's sex determines their ability to become enlightened. Tara has for different types of enlightened activity and divine attributes depicted symbolically through the colors red, black, white, yellow and green. Tara has four different types of enlightened activity and divine attributes depicted symbolically through colors red, white, black, yellow and green. Green Terra is Terra's embodiment of compassionate action or enlightened action. Her green color signifies vigor and vitality and her mantra also represents vitality and the purity of our life force, the Prana Mudra. She is the action we take from a deeply rooted place within our heart. She is the energy that seeks to act in alignment with what will free us as we liberate others. Queen Terra is that sacred nudge to get moving, to do what your soul compels you to do. Don't sit with an idea or a project any longer, says Tara. Take action on it. Don't think about a friend who keeps coming into your heart. Go bring her or him dark chocolate or send a love letter. Don't wait to express your love to someone you have needed. Go now and tell the truth. Let your feet be moved by what has been caged within you. Let your wisdom shift into inspired action. Terra is the message that a time for action is now. There is nothing to wait for and no person you need to become before doing what you have come here to do. Start small and let the soul lead you, not your ego. It is not how grand the gesture of your love is, it is the amount of love that ever matters. There are so many injustices in the world, says Terra, and so it is easy to get stuck in the molasses of helplessness. The brilliant Burmese diplomat Aung San Suu Kyi said, if you are feeling helpless, help someone. Queen Terra is about aligning what moves us to tears with compassionate action. She is the push to do something, anything that might alleviate the suffering of others. In the process of taking action with love and from love, we also liberate ourselves. Now we come to the Shaman Dream Oracle card called Magician's Sword. And the magician's sword is about your confidence in your magic and nothing can stop you. 
When this card appears, Virgo, you are called to cut a cord that bind you to old thoughts and beliefs or to friends who are not truly your friends. With the power of the magician's sword, nothing can truly stop you, hurt you, or turn you away from the beauty you seek or the goal you desire with all your heart. The sword is a tool, not a weapon, to make sure you use it wisely and for the greater good. Find out what made you stuck in places and why you keep staying in a certain location or why you keep that toxic person in your life or why you allow faulty thoughts and beliefs impact you negatively and let the plate do its magic. Once you believe in magic, Virgo, you have a multitude of options, but don't seek magic from the heavens. Seek it from your own self, that magic that lies inside of you. Use the magician's sword to cut through limiting beliefs and always be aware of the fact that all beliefs are always limiting. Focus on what is it is you can create through your intention. You have all the tools you need right at your disposal. Just deploy the resources you already have. When the card comes up in your spread, you are advised to keep moving. Take decisive action and know that this sword is alive with a wisdom you can use to help you find the best course of action for yourself. So Virgo, don't hesitate. That was the reading for Virgo. Thank you Virgo for listening. I wish you a wonderful day. I wish you a wonderful week ahead. And please come back next time when I have another reading for Virgo. Okay, take care and goodbye.